Thanks Anshika for having me over here. My name is Rajesh Jain. Hello everyone. And I'm a software developer at our research and I'm passionate about algorithms, data structures, uh, coding interviews as well as software engineering. And that's why I also run my programming YouTube channel. And that's that. Happy to be here. It's my pleasure too to have you here. Like it would be great experience to just take this whole interview session. any right time to start preparing for tech companies what mentality i have felt that students when they when they are in their third year or final year they feel that they have less time with them like if even they start preparing from that time they won't be able to crack those companies like amazon microsoft or any good startup so what is your opinion about this like how much time is sufficient for cracking these companies all right so of course this will depend uh, on lot of parameters uh, like if you are from a good college and amazon is coming to your college for example then you need to show good ds and algo skills but let's say if you are from some other college in which amazon is not coming to your campus and that's where you want to eventually end up so at that point of time again for companies like amazon probably they again would care about ds algo skills but to get that shortlistment uh probably again you you should have a good story showing that you are an enthusiastic and passionate software developer and these are the kind of things that you have already done in the past so so now this question bifurcates into two categories like if you have if you just want to focus on ds algo skills probably 5 months would be a good amount of time in which you can really work hard and crack such companies but if that's not the case and of course this 5 months is i'm just giving you numbers out of thin air it depends totally on how hard you work and how well you absorb things it might take more than 5 months it might take one year also for some people and uh, that's that's how it depends like you really have to work hard and you should have the capability to understand what the question is about you should know why some approach is wrong right you should not look stupid that you are saying something like let's just sort the array and just pick some greedy approach and this will work you should know why this will fail and these are the kind of things that you should develop in those 5 or 6 months not just about solving 1000 plus problems but about developing such skills like you know why this is right and why that is wrong and the ability to convert your thoughts into code is another thing and then the ability to debug a wrong code is another thing and these are the skills which you should develop it might take 5 months 6 months probably a year also for some people talking about projects i mean you have to learn technologies and then you have to build on top of them that takes time and uh, i would say again 5 or 6 months is needed probably when you are coming from a non computer science background as well so you need that onboarding time to understand how things work and how code really works or how software development really works so probably learning back end and front end both it and then building a project on top of that I mean 5 to 6 months is a good, sweet spot I would say to you should spend time doing that. So probably one year in all um you should you you would need like one year and also again you can stretch it to one and a half year or two year but around that one year we can say that it is more than sufficient like if a student do it sincerely he can crack those companies. What people should not worry about such time like because in in the sense of that time they probably might miss the important things which were something like you should develop skills you should not worry over time even i am a person of that kind like right now if i am i have been selected at amazon i would not deny that even when i was in my third year or final year i also used to do do like that like i used to make a plan and think like i am just having one year left with me or half i mean six months left with me what will i do like my general perception about jobs was that that once my college is over what will i do if i don't get a good job i mean to me job was just like that college boundary that college gets over and i should have a job in my hand and that job should be good like well paid at very good company of course if you have six months and you are thinking about oh my god my college is just getting ended and i won't be getting a good placement so so what so you have choice now you either start working now or you even start craving about it and start postponing things even now what do you think you are achieving from the second option like you will finally join some 
some you will finally read a little bit and you get some placement you get a job in which you are really not happy so do you think you will you will stay like that for the next 5 years of course not you will start switching your job again right what would what would people judge in a in a graduate who has just graduated uh, and he has around 3 or 6 3 or 6 months of experience they will again judge you on basis of your ds algo skills so you will start preparing then and within that amount of time you have lost 7 months just because you were thinking that uh, i mean college is just ending i don't have much time and then you will start preparing again so it as i'm saying don't focus on time you need to develop skills